Hello and welcome to That British Guy. Now today I wanted to just pose everyone with a question. What has happened to Ty Dillinger? Now on the Smackdown Live after WrestleMania 33, he made his main roster debut. He defeated Kurt Hawkins, um, rightly so as well, in a pretty convincing style. Um, he then faced Aiden English a couple of times and beat him again and then faced him yet again at the Backlash pre-show match um, and again won um, and then nothing no backstage segments no interviews no promos in the ring calling anyone out Nothing at all. He seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. Now, when we compare this with Elias Sampson over on Raw, um, again, a post-WrestleMania call-up from NXT, should be sitting around the mid-card on the main roster. Um, he has been utilised much, much better. Although his build was slower, um, for the first few weeks he just sort of appeared, um, he was still on the show, he was still getting airtime, he was still getting interaction with people like Kurt Angle, um, and then he was sort of in the middle of the Intercontinental title picture just before Extreme Rules. Granted, he was sort of used as a prop for Miz to get one up on Dean Ambrose, but he was still very much involved in that, and post extreme rules looks to still sort of be involved in that and you never know might be the Miz's next number one contender potentially for the intercontinental title even if he isn't he's being seen on tv at the moment with the intercontinental champion and the former intercontinental champion who will get his contractual rematch at some point so that can only be a good thing, being seen on TV in sections with those two. Whereas Ty Dillinger was put in matches against Kurt Hawkins, who was just a jobber when he came back. He was a jobber before he left. He came back as a jobber, but with a cane. He beats Kurt Hawkins in his first match on SmackDown Live. Kurt Hawkins then just leaves for Raw. Um, the next week he then beats Aiden English who was doing nothing in the vaudeville and anyway before Simon Gotch got released and hasn't really done anything on his own since the split either so he's faced two people who are basically seen as irrelevant in on the roster um, now I'm not knocking them as workers or people or it's just how they're perceived, their characters are perceived to the general public. They are seen as irrelevant. So he's faced two of those and beaten one of them once and the other one three times and he then has disappeared. There's no teaming him up with anyone to face people like the Usos or... Even the Colognes of the Ascension in the tag division. There's no facing him off against, say, Eric Rowan or... See, I think that's part of the problem. I'm trying to think of mid-card heels for him to be in a program with. And I can't. They're... The heel side on SmackDown Live is so thin. You've got... Jinder Mahal at the top of the card, um, obviously as champion. What you think of that is a completely different argument to have uh, another time. Um, so I can't really see them elevating him all the way to the top because they've obviously only really done that with Jinder for business reasons. Um, you've got Baron Corbin, who seems to be in some kind of a program still with Sami Zayn. You've got Dolph Ziggler, who was tied up with the whole Shinsuke Nakamura thing. Um, that looks like that's pretty much running its course at Money in the Bank, hopefully. So maybe that is a perfect opportunity to let Dolph Ziggler elevate Ty, beating a, a former World Heavyweight Champion. 
um, a multiple time intercontinental champion, US champion. That will give him a bit more credibility beating someone like that. But other than that, we've we've then got um, I suppose Kevin Owens, the US champion. He could go into a program with him and beat him, but it looks like they're going with Owens and Nakamura. So that kind of renders him out of the picture. And then, yeah, Eric Rowan. And I can't really think of anyone else other than Aiden English that has been put on the heel side of things. And if he's already beaten Aiden English three times anyway within his first month, who, as I said, is, is kind of seen as an irrelevance by management, what is the point of keep rehashing that match and beating him week after week after week? doesn't elevate Ty Dillinger. It only buries Aiden English more. Um, so there's no chance of him ever becoming credible if he's losing week after week anyway. Um, and the Eric Rowan thing, he seems to still sort of be in a programme with Luke Harper. I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, if they don't want to go with Ziggler, I can really only think that he would be the only other credible person. So maybe they go into something that potentially starts on the pre-show of Money in the Bank and then goes on from there. Um, but it's it's a real shame. They've, they've brought him up to the main roster and just done nothing with him. And I really hope for his sake that that changes potentially at money in the bank at least if we get to see him that's that's a good thing for him he needs to be on tv as much as possible um and if he does go into a program with eric rowan starting there maybe that is something f at least for him to do something for him to be on tv and in be involved with which i think he needs um or failing that i really really hope he goes into a program with someone like dolph ziggler um, and uses Dolph Ziggler almost as a stepping stone to elevate him up to the next level and potentially even to the, to the uh, US title by maybe SummerSlam or just after SummerSlam. Um, but again, that will very much depend on Kevin Owens and Shinsuke Nakamura, but who knows? I just think it's a real shame that he's disappeared off the face of the earth and just not been utilised at all. What do you think WWE management have planned for him? Do you think they have any kind of plan going forward for him? Can you see a programme for him to go into um, post Money in the Bank that will hopefully elevate him and isn't just him beating Aiden English every week? Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be very interested to see what you think. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Um, I have been That British Guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.